Hello everyone, my name is Mr. No King, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Y for the 3DS. The last episode we finally got over here to the, oh man, what is it called here? The, um, the Perfume Palace, I suppose. And, uh, we got out back here, um, I thought these were trainers, but apparently they're not trainers. Folks with Bug Badge can use the move, uh, Cut to chop down trees quickly, okay, yeah. Uh, the HM for Cut somewhere in the garden, you can take it if you'd like, okay, well let's go ahead and do this here, because there was, I, I thought it was gonna be a whole, oh. That was easy. Anyways, yeah, I thought there was gonna be a whole trainer thing. Turns out it wasn't trainer, but that's okay because there is a lot to do in the Parfum Palace as well as a few things on uh, on Route 6. So that's pretty much the goal for this episode is just make sure I get everything in the Parfum Palace here, which there's quite a bit. And then also make sure that I get every or catch the Pokemon I need um, on Route 6. Get out of here, you... I swear to God, every time I record this, uh, this thing comes up with a bomb. Parfum Palace is a palace among palaces. You could say it's the king of the palaces, the premier pl uh, palace. Okay, well, that's a lot of alliteration there, but I'm okay with that. Uh, anyways, I'm still recording this on Wednesday. I just wanted to make sure I had enough episodes recorded here. So, um, so anyways, yeah, it's been a pretty busy week, honestly. It's been a pretty, yeah, busy week, yeah. And um, this is probably the last episode I'm probably going to record here in the current setup here. Because I'm moving my office around. Maybe I'll make a vlog or something like that. Because I have the OTG Nittle King. Um, uh, what's it called? What is it called? Oh, my gosh. Hold on, is it? Wait, where is that? Oh, it's like somewhere around here, isn't it? Wait, oh man, there it is. Yeah, I was gonna say, I saw it there. I was like, which one is it? But I, maybe I'll post on there, see if uh, see if we get any traction there. But uh, anyways, we're also looking for this uh, guy's fur frow here as well, which we'll take a look at that and an antidote. That's everything in the back end palace here. So pretty okay with that. So let's go ahead and find this guy's fur frow, which I believe should be up here. Is that correct? I always wanted to be a princess, uh, but I've gr uh, given up on that dream. I would get lost in here all the time. You know what? That's very, that's very true. I, I'd be the same way, honestly. So where's the fur for at? Um, okay, so it's actually in the northwest hedge. So let me see here. Wait, northwest. So that'd be, yeah, there it is. Okay, I was going to say, somehow I missed it. I guess I didn't go this way for some reason. Uh, oof. Okay, so let's see here. Please don't run away. Can give me a hand. All right, stay here and I can run up around. This one's always weird. Okay, so which way are you gonna go? So I'll keep it from getting away. So pick a spot for me to stand. Right there, over there. Um. Okay, what do I want her to do here? Um. I'd want her to stand down here. Or up here, I suppose. Or over here, yeah. Can I have you stand right there? Yeah, stand there. That's good. Alright. Now we can go ahead and try and get this approach. No! Oh, okay. Now I can do this. Actually, that works. No, no, no. Okay, hold on. Maybe. Oh, wait. You know what? That's easy. Yes, follow me. Man, I don't remember having this much trouble with this. Can I have you wait here? If you wait here, then we're set. Got it, yeah, let's do this now. Haha. -ha. Yeah, I, yeah, I know, Shauna. Oh my god, I'm not even talking, why am I not talking? Yes, let's wait in a different place. I'm gonna have you go up here. And wait here. Wait, can not? Oh my god, oh, please, dude, just wait here, Shauna. I need your help just for a second, yes. Okay, there we go. I mean, it's funny because I just watched Psycho uh, play through this game. I don't know why I'm still having troubles here. There we got cornered. Oh my god. I should have had that much trouble with that. Woo, finally done. We caught it. Yeah. You're amazing. We caught it because you understand how Pokemon feel. No, we caught it because I told you to stand there. Oh my god. <laughs> my dear Furfrow, my beloved Furfrow. Uh, could you two, uh, could you beat the two responsible for a uh, Wonder Furrow? Wonder Furrow. Oh, oh my god, no. How wonderful. Oh my god, stop it. Since it was like this, the man's fireworks are spawn sure. Boom, boom. My Pokemon are reunited. Our bond has been proven. Uh, we'll commemorate uh, the joyous occasion with tremendous firework display. We'll also give you a severe reward. A uh, tiny bit of trouble you went through one day boo at the balcony. Understand? One day boo. You can keep reach the balcony from the halls. All right. Okay. Well, there's still a few things we want to pick up inside, but maybe Fruit Fry would have been better off if we hadn't found it. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Jeez. I really love fireworks. Let's get going. All right. Holy crap. Shauna has no chill here. Jeez, um, dude. All right. Well, anyways, that's everything here, which is cool that we're done with this now. Let's go ahead and get inside because there's a few things to pick up on the inside as well. I like how the, I thought there was battling here. I guess not. I should have ended the episode there last time, but oh well. Let's uh, let's go get some fireworks. Once again, I'm not going to turn up a opportunity to see this beautiful screen. It's nighttime too, dude. Oh, it's so perfect. I'm going to go this a bit later if you can tell. Um, I'm trying to think where else there are things. I don't think there's anything in the bottom floor here. But there is an item in the top left-hand corner uh, room. So let's go up and grab that real quick. As in this room. Haha, -ha. let's go up and grab this. There it is. An amulet coin. So this item is, if it's held by a Pokemon that partakes in a battle, you get more prize money for winning. It's not a big thing, but I'm glad I have it regardless. It's kind of nice to have. But anyways, let's go watch this firework display. Wait. Oh, whoops. I was going to say, wait, why am I not going up there? Okay. Man, a lot of this is crazy, dude. All right. What's up, Shauna? Let's get this firework display under underway. I thought this whole thing was weird. The first, Like, it didn't feel like a Pokemon game. It was weird. You know, I never watched fireworks alone with a boy before. And don't get, think anything into it, all right? Daisy. I'm just, that's my dog barking if you hear that. You probably do hear it. Oh, my God. But, like, this whole part's so weird. We haven't even seen them yet, but I know I'll never forget these fireworks because I watch them with you, King. Well, there's your there's your uh, thumbnail, I guess. <laughs> I even knew that. I even knew going into this. I was like, this is probably be a thumbnail at some point of these fireworks scene. Yeah, the, right there you go. Because I always, I always remember. I do remember this scene, though, a lot from the game for some reason. I just always remember it. <laughs> it's got weird. And wow, that was amazing. I've never watched everyone to forget this. So I'll keep a memory of my album with my heart. It's kind of cringy, dude. And that was my wonderful fireworks show for Fur Frow. <laughs> I assume you're satisfied with that. Pretty much. Almost forgot about the Pokey Flute. Yeah, that's why we came here. That's why right, we need to get the Pokey Flute to wake up Snorlax. Pokey Flute. Go get it. Yeah. It was Chabonet Castle's treasure. A rich guy like me and a common person like that just don't get didn't go, uh, go together. Well, that's fair. Give it to them. <laughs> fair enough. Here's the Pokey Flute. And yeah, there we go. Well, we got the Pokey Flute now. And now we have some things to go ahead and grab on Route 6. Well, some things. More like some Pokemon to catch on Route 6. Listen, you two. Always return, uh, always return what you borrow. That's very important. I want to make lots of memories on my journey, but I think I'll try to forget about him. <laughs> you can't imagine how stressful running these places for him. Maybe so. Oh, that's right, Mr. Balu. Do you know anything about Mega Evolutions? I remember reading a book on that subject in the Palace Library. It had something to do with what you'd uh, now call a trainer holding a mysterious stone high and making a Pokemon evolve even further. Also, it's not much, but I would like you to have this. So that's the thing, Mega Evolution is so much cooler than Dynamaxing, because Dynamaxing, you just get big, and then your stats change. You evolve them into, like, a different version, or, like, a different type. It's so cool. I'm going to turn my light, because it's dark in here. Holy crap. Uh, you may use this many times to the road. Chances not working increases. If you will, excuse me, I should take my leave. But, yeah, this is my first time recording, um... Show you that, yeah, okay. But, yeah, no, this is my first, my last time recording this setup on my house, at my new place, which is weird, because I've never actually changed, like, the layout of my room yet since I've moved in here it's been just this forever i guess we have like added a few things like a com second computer for work and all but besides that it's been pretty much the same which i'm okay with that i'm, I'm excited to have something different here we're going the right way yeah okay there we go there's the milotech castle now here we go let's go ahead and get out of here that took a lot less time than i remember well actually it took about like nine minutes so it's about what i remember actually never mind but let's go ahead and get on out of here how do I get out of here? Because there's another way. There we go. And now, welcome back to Route 6. Pala... Palas... Wait, hold on, what? Is, there, is that... What was that? I don't know if that... I don't think that was a shaking bush. But anyways, welcome to Route 6. Proper. So, uh, Pokemon that we have here while I'm going ahead and fighting this thing. We have Oddish, Senaret, Esper, Ninkata, Honage, and Kelsion. Uh, or Kels Kelsleon. On top of that, we have Rustling Bushes, which I don't think we've seen yet in the game until just now. Which, Rustling Bushes give you a different type of Pokemon than just regular Tallgrass here. 
Ooh, Quackling Gorilla level 17. The Rustling Bushes, you can only get two. It's Venipede and Audino, which isn't much, but it's something. What is that yellow thing there? Anyways, regardless, I'm still looking for a specific Pokemon here in this tall grass here. So I I guess I'll show this. You know what? I have nothing else to show this episode here. I'll wait till next episode. Actually, I can do the Snorlax and end it there, I suppose. But I'm going to go ahead and show all these battles. Might as well, you know? Uh, I should actually switch over to Stompy here and fight them with that. Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah. Let's pull out my boy Stompy here. There we go. Yeah, Stompy's back up in front now. Let's go ahead and see. I thought that was a item. I guess not, but... Whoa, don't want to hop down too far, though, because you go... I didn't know there was a trainer here. Holy crap. Oh, my God. There's a huge spider outside my window. Jesus. That scared me. I didn't expect to see that. I got to, like, spray my window or something, dude. Holy crap. Volby. That's easy enough. Let's go ahead and take on Volby here, shall we? Yeah, because the last thing I want is that... Freaking holy crap, dude. Level 13. No, no, no. I am I am uh, switching over to Lizzie again. Because Lizzie is probably the least powerful of all my Pokemon. Uh, but yeah, we almost have the full team I want. Minus one Pokemon, pretty much, that I'm planning on getting. Okay, sorry about that. You know, that, that there was a giant freaking spider. Luckily, it's outside my window. And, like, I was like, if that thing was inside, I would have been, like, done. Just still freaking straight up done. Because that thing is huge. Like, it's... I'm talking, like, freaking what's it called size. Um... Oh my god, I'm talking like freaking Australia size. Jeez, um, anyways. Anyways, I'm having so much trouble focusing now. Holy crap, I don't know why I'm having so much trouble. Well, it's because that thing's outside. Anyways, we took on Taurus Tachyum. Tachyum. I doubt I'm going to get everybody here. I'll probably mess up or probably something. Miss some people here, but that's fine. I'm here simply to catch a Pokemon and get over, get back to the route. Another Ninkata, dude. I don't want to fight another Ninkata, but, you know, maybe I should. Let's actually go ahead and run. I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to keep out. I probably will keep out, um, Stompy, though, just so I can catch, uh, or, yeah, catch Reek in this thing. Because it is only going to be around level 12, so I don't want anything crazy or anything like that. But I just need to find it now. Uh, should I leave all this in, or should I just keep, uh, should I just edit this out? Maybe I'll just edit out some of this here, but... Okay, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna edit it out. So, I will see you guys as soon as I run into the uh, Pokemon I'm looking for. Okay, so here we are. We finally found the last Pokemon. Or, yeah, last Pokemon. Second last Pokemon team, Honage. Let's go ahead and see. I'm not sure. Hopefully, this won't crit it. Or also be very sad. Not very effective. Okay, that's uh, that's bad. But that's fine. We can use Tackle. We can tackle this boy down. Because I'm not... I refuse to let this thing die. It does not affect... Wait, what do you mean Tackle doesn't affect it? Oh, it's a ghost type. Let's go ahead and throw some Pokemon at it then. Let's oh yeah, Pokeball. Let's throw some Pokeball. Let's throw some Pokeballs at it. I, I just want to see if we can try and catch it. I should have used a luxury ball. Why didn't I? But I'm just gonna wing it. Yeah, level eleven. Might be able to catch it. No, okay. Now, I guess I can finally use this because it's the first time I didn't catch a Pokemon on my first try. Critical hit, yeah, of course. So we can go down here and you can see use last item or last time used, and just immediately uses a Pokeball for you, which is so much nicer than the freaking having to go back into my Pokeballs and all that. But let's see. I always tap A. I don't know. I always tap A to catch Pokemon. Not not hold A or tap, hold B. It was always A for me. I was an A person. I don't know why I else was, but 120 or 102 experience uh, uh, gained. And Honage. Welcome home, Honage. Honage is an awesome Pokemon, honestly. It's freaking a freaking sword. It's awesome. Give a nickname. Heck yeah. What should we name this thing? Uh, you know what? Keep the theme alive. Stabby. Is it two or what? I'm gonna go with two. Stabby with two Bs. That makes it more unique in case it is spelled wrong. And there we go, guys. Just like that, our team is pretty much stacked. This is pretty much the team I want to go with for quite some time, actually. Um, I'm gonna put Lizzie back up in front here, but yeah, this is this is the team. This is the dream team for the most part. Mine is Quacken. Quacken's just kind of there for, as a placeholder for now. Um, I also got Venom Shock a while back, but don't worry too much about that. Um, but you know what? Let's go ahead and wake up this Snorlax here, and then I'm probably gonna call it an episode here, regardless. So let's go and see what's going on. Yeah, we got the Pokey Float, Pokey Float. Yeah, Pokey Flute, dude. Oh, it's you two. Did you actually manage to borrow the Pokey Flute? We heckin' did. Thanks. Well, you're the only one who can play, right? Snorlax can be grumpy when it wakes up. It might attack. I'll play a flute right now. But are you sure? We are you ready to stop it? Yep. Feels nice to have this flute in my hands again. Okay, I guess I'll start playing it. Heck yeah, go ahead and start playing that thing. 
Ah, so peaceful. Strax, open its eyes wide. I don't know about that one, game. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Wild Snorlax. It's so weird to see a Snorlax this early in the game. Like, compared to the original game when, like, Snorlax was, like, a big obstacle and, like, crazy. Let's see if we don't one-shot it. Don't one-shot it. Don't one-shot it. Oh, that was a weird lag as well. Dude, don't eat. Actually, that's fine with me because now I can use Dragon Rage again. As long as I don't crit, I'm pretty much good to try and catch him. I'll catch him just because, you know what? Why the heck not, right? It's a freaking Snorlax, dude. Yeah, go ahead and lick me only one. I don't care, dude. Let's go ahead and catch the thing. I'm going to use an Ultra Ball just to make sure I get it because I don't want to don't want to lose this thing and have it run away or anything like that. But let's see if we can get this. Oh, hey, hey, hey. No, he wasted my Ultra Ball, dude. Don't use Amnesia. What does Amnesia even do? Oh, it's Special Defense real sharply. Well, okay, that's fine. We can go with the Great Ball. I'm not gonna use my Luxury Ball. It's not worth using a Luxury Ball on this on this guy right now, simply because like I'm not gonna use him on my team, but I do just wanna catch him. Come on. Duh. No! I'm gonna get him, trust me, I'm gonna get him. I, I refuse to walk away. Oh. If I don't catch him, Lizzie, you're kinda dead, sorry. And you're not gonna get a level, which I would really appreciate you too. Press the A button, dude. Press the A button in comments. <laughs> Got him with one HP to spare. And get four. Yeah, there we go, baby. There you go, Lizzie. Sorry. I can't. I can't complain. Cookie Girl level 20. Jeez, um, dude. So we're five levels away from the max Pokemon level on the next uh, battle or the next. Uh, what's it called? Gym. Give a nickname. I'm not gonna nickname him because I'm not gonna use him. But let's see what these guys. Awesome. You caught Snor uh, Snorlax. Girl, oof. Oh, it's the fur frow. Oh, the only thing I can do with that Puggy flute is put it on display, but you've been playing it since you were little, and the tone is lovely. It seems like my fur frow also likes the sound of the flute. Not as much as it likes my beautiful wonder, uh, wonder frow fireworks, of course. Uh, yeah, I guess so. You're playing sound better back in the day, so I'll let you take care of that flute, so, uh, to be, so be sure to practice more. Ha! <laughs> A little heartwarming moment there, honestly. Yeah, kind of weird. That was, was that supposed to be an attempt to patch things up? Kind of. Well, whatever. All's well that ends well. I wonder what lies past Snorlax was sleeping. Well, that's gonna be for next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see you all in the next episode where we will finally take on Route 7's proper after two episodes of trying to get here.